Hello everyone, it's Snake Phantom here, and this is going to be one of the episodes where I just showcase the earliest days that we started playing Minecraft, me and my kids. So I believe that this is the spawn point for this world, um, and I forget what version this was, but this was a very early version of Minecraft. Um, so uh, I'm just going to basically uh, fly around and kind of show you some of the things real quick. So we started by kind of walking across or going across this water and we ended up in a uh, in a little hollow over here and we decided okay let's 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 live here. So we started with uh, this hole in the wall here. This was our first kind of home when we started. Um, then we we made individual bedrooms kind of off on the sides. Uh, and then we started digging down, obviously, what a lot of people do. And then, you know, here's a little farm, a little bit of water. And then as we uh, expanded, we wanted to build more. So if you follow this little path here, you'll come up to the house that we built. So this is now the main residence of this particular world. Actually, it looks like there's... Uh, some problems in this game that I haven't actually seen since it's been upgraded multiple times but uh, this would have been all creative back in the day when doors couldn't actually be stacked um, I don't I don't know why why wooden slabs I don't have the right picture there for them but uh, you know we got we got enough materials whatever used to be here is actually missing which is kind of funny um, fire here and uh, actually got some ocean brewing supplies back then, so uh, I guess we at least played after the update where potions and stuff came around. Upstairs is a few little bedrooms. This is my room, I guess. I probably kept my valuables in here. That's my brother's little room. Oh, and there's actually a little uh, little place in here for uh, for enchanting books and stuff. So once we built the house, then I worked on this this outer wall. So there's some towers at the corners. The wall kind of alternates between cobble and stone. And there's a gatehouse here with a door, which is apparently messed up as well. So yeah, a lot of problems since this world kind of upgraded and migrated from version to version. But the wall kind of goes around our original area. Uh, here's a little water elevator that goes up and down so you can just fly around a little bit. One of my sons made this diving board. You can climb up there and jump down into the water. And the water con or the wall continues this way to a tower. And then it continues this way to another tower. And there's a couple little bridges, and that's basically our space. Wow, nice lighting bug there. Um, we built a big tree, like a tree house. Uh, there's some interesting creations that my son did with some uh, with more leaves and mushrooms and stuff. Uh, we had a little diving board off the top of the house as well. And then I built a little rail line, so maybe I'll finish by taking the rail line out to the end. Uh, we, we, we basically did some exploring and found some areas and decided, okay, let's just build a rail line that goes out to those, so that was our way of getting out there quick. And then lastly, over on this side, there's a bit of a, a, bit of a castle keep here. Maybe I can squeeze through squeeze through the opening yeah just trying to play with stairs and build a little bit of a building but that one didn't really come out so well and then I built this uh, cathedral out of uh, sandstone so this is one of the early cathedrals that I built Wow, massive glitching um, and this would actually act as a uh, as a prototype for the one that I built in the Glory of War server. If you check out my other videos, you'll see the gigantic cathedral that we built there. But uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll, uh, that's about as far as we kind of went 
uh, in the world. Didn't didn't do too much exploring beyond these limits. Um, this was back in the day when the world was pretty simple. Um, you didn't have uh, didn't have all the biomes and stuff that we have today. So uh, let's take a little uh, let's take a little minecart ride. So yeah, I'm not gonna bother to talk now because I'm just gonna speed up the video and then that way you'll be able to uh, see everything and get to the end of this line. a little building here. The building has uh, a few supplies. And a little upstairs porch. Get up on the roof. And a little staircase out back. And our nether portal is here. So actually if we go in and out I think we actually teleport back to the nether portal that's in the basement of the house. But uh, I'm not sure why we built this out here. I think we found uh, maybe maybe the end portal is actually down here somewhere because it seems uh, seems like we came here for a reason. But uh, I don't know where that is anymore, so I'm not going to bother. Interesting. Um, yep, yeah, okay, so let's just uh, get the heck out of here. See what the nether looks like in this world. Typical, typical kind of nether, I guess. We didn't actually even build a wall here to protect, to protect ourselves, it looks like, but anyway, I think if we come back in, Oh, no, it doesn't work. So, yeah, anyway, this is, uh, this is the, uh, limit of, uh, of this world. Anyway, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another episode of Different Worlds of Minecraft.